Hi, you fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today, let's talk about buying reviews for aquarium products. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage. Stand by. Hi, right, fishy folks. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Michael from Michael's Fish Room. This is my uh, basement fish room. I have 60 breeding for profit tanks. I breed plecos and guppies and I have quarries and angelfish and rams. And you can buy all of those fish on my website, michaelsfishroom.com. All right, so let's talk about reviewing products, specifically Amazon reviews and YouTubers doing honest reviews about products. Now, I don't know any YouTuber that's reviewed a product and said it was fantastic and then told me they thought it was junk. However, what I do know is I've reviewed many of the products that other YouTubers have reviewed and I'm amazed they keep we keep having a difference of opinion. Now, as you guys may know, I get asked at least once a week, usually more, to review products. Sometimes it comes in the form of an Instagram DM or a Facebook message, or sometimes it's a direct email because uh, my, e my email is on my website and a lot of people know it. So I don't mind reviewing products. I do tell all the people that ask that I will be honest. I tell them, have you ever watched one of my reviews? Because Quite frankly, if you don't do an honest review, then all your reviews, in my opinion, are garbage. I don't believe any of them. So, last week I got a, uh, a Facebook message from somebody whose first name was Carr. And I noticed there was a picture and of, of the, her profile picture was a female. Maybe female, maybe male, I don't know. Doesn't matter. And she was from China. And I thought that was clearly an indication that she was gonna try to get me to review a product. And uh, yeah, she did actually. We'll get to that in a second, but she commented on a post I had in the Hagar, Hagar, whatever, Facebook group. Now, you know, I've reviewed quite a few Hagar products and most of them I find just aren't worth the money. Some of them are actually junk. I do like their um, heaters. I have one, they gave me one for Paco's tank, it's right here. Suction cup doesn't work, but I find that with most products. But so far, the heater's been flawless. I've had it for a little bit more than a year, so I don't really have much of a time frame to go on it. But I liked it so much, when I bought a new heater for my tank upstairs, I bought Hagar. I bought this, the newer version of this. Love it, so far I love it. But there are plenty of products that of theirs that I think are trash. In fact, so much so that they've stopped sending me stuff until this week, or last week, I guess, when Miss Carr sent me a message asking me to review some products. I said, sure. She sent me a picture of eight products and she said, pick one. And at no point did she tell me what company she was from, but doing some investigative research in the picture, it's on one of the he uh, heaters, it says Hygar, 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 tomato, tomato, whatever. And so uh, I thought that was weird. And so I picked a light because I need a light for upstairs for my, uh, my 26 gallon nano tank. And I was gonna try that and do a real review like I always do. And in her next message, she said, okay, please buy it on Amazon after 10 days, do a five-star review and I'll reimburse you. <clears throat> now, I'm no genius. I'm not even that smart. But that, to me, seems like you're buying reviews for your products. Pretty sure Amazon frowns upon that. But unfortunately, it's a fact, folks. I did some research on the interwebs, you know, the interwebs know everything. And clearly there are companies that sell reviews. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they get away with it. I don't really care. I would be cautious about buying any Hagar product on Amazon that has a ton of positive reviews because clearly some of them are not accurate. Now, <clears throat> Companies can't remove reviews on Amazon, I don't believe, without too much trouble. I think it's I think it's a big pain in the behind, but if 
you have, you know, 5,000 reviews on a product, how many of them are real? There's only 100 reviews on a newer product. How many of them are real? I personally would stay away from buying Hagar products on Amazon. That doesn't mean all their products are bad. Keep fishkeeping.com, John and Lisa, they sell Hagar lights. And I believe that they like the Hagar lights. They support them. They've tested them. So if you want a Hagar light, go there instead of Amazon. Because clearly the companies that are selling on Amazon, Hagar, and whomever else they're distributing to are buying reviews. And that's garbage. That's trash. Now, I know what you're saying to yourself, but, but my other YouTubers do have our reviews all the time. Yeah. I'm not saying everyone that does a Hagar review is full of crap, but when the promise of new free products is behind a review, not so sure I'd buy it. Again, not calling anyone out. I'm not saying that every Hagar review on YouTube is honest. Whether it's good or bad, I'm saying watch a review with a grain of salt. Meaning, do your own research. Ask people that have the product. When I buy stuff on Amazon that I don't know nothing about, the first thing I do is go to reviews. I look at the bad reviews first. Because there's always people that are going to trash a product for whatever reason. Throw those away because they're just stupid. Look for the honest reviews. <clears throat> Look for the review, the four star reviews or the two star reviews, not one or five. <clears throat> Those, that's what I look like. Look at, I should say. In fact, you may notice there's a ring light now. You can see the reflection right there. I bought this based on reviews. Of course, it was an Amazon Prime deal, but I bought it based on reviews. <coughs> I didn't look at the five star verified reviews. I looked at the unverified reviews. It's just what I did. All right. More of the story, folks. Believe what you will on the internet. Not all people doing reviews have your best interest at heart. They have their own, which conflicts sometimes when you're doing a review. I know I've done reviews before on products that are junk, but I really like the people that made the product or sent it to me. In fact, I have two products right now that I have to review. And I like the people that sent them to me, and I'm concerned if I hate it, I'm gonna have to trash them. Because if I don't do an honest review, you're never gonna believe any one of my reviews ever again. And that's kind of my thing, I do the honest review. Even if somebody sends me stuff for free, I prefer to buy it actually and do a review. I think that's way more realistic uh, in general. All right, folks, that does it for reviews. Just be careful when you're buying product, basing it on reviews. Maybe ask some people. Um, if you trust your local fish store, you could ask them if it's something they sell. I would suggest buying local, whether it's a mom and pop fish store or uh, a mom and pop online retailer, <clears throat> as opposed to going to you know the ginormous entity that is Amazon. <coughs> I'm fine uh, when you buy stuff. So that does it. I'm done. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below if you've ever bought a product based on an Amazon review and you got it home and it was junk. All right, so as I said, today we're going to be talking about uh, fake reviews, basically. Now, as you may know, I do review quite a few products on uh, this platform, and which is YouTube, and yeah, I don't know why I did that. Hiya, fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael's Fishing. Today, let's talk about... No. <coughs> all right, fishy folks, let's... No. Not all people reviewing products have your thoughts and prayers in mind. No, I don't know why I say that. Not all... <laughs> Hiya, fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael's Fishing. Today, let's talk about Amazon reviews. No. Hiya, fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael's Fishing. Today, let's talk about YouTubers reviewing products. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage. No. 